Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're gonna take you through a bit of a murder mystery and figure out why the test suite of my text editor started failing. Um, spoilers. Uh, <coughs> Here's the test. Um, and this test just sort of started failing out of nowhere. Uh, a little bit of background. I wrote a text editor. I use it on my videos all the time. It's called Babby. I type nano in the terminal, it opens Babby. I wrote this from scratch in Python. That's all you really need to know. It has a fairly thorough test suite that involves actually opening the editor in Tmux and interacting with sending commands to a background Tmux and making sure that the editor functions the way that it should function. Um, and I noticed that almost all of my tests in Babby that involved resizing the window to a non-standard size uh, mysteriously started failing. Uh, this is one such um, test here, which is testing the go to line feature in Babby. So for instance, uh, if you control shift underscore and type in a line number, it should go to that line and display it properly. That's kind of what the test is validating here. Um, and the test actually shows screenshots of everything as the test runs. And so something broke this. Now, I did end up finding that the reason this broke was actually an upgrade of a testing library. Uh, that testing library being PyTest itself. And in fact, if I pip install PyTest equals 8.3.4, you will see that this test passes. Uh, ignore the warning, that's something I'll fix at some point. But uh, something changed between PyTest 8.3.4 and 8.3.5, and actually, I recently debugged this on stream and predict what the uh, the change was here. And it has to do with read line, which is um, Python's module for interfacing with the read line interface. Read line is sort of what makes like you know, keyboard shortcuts that do like, you know, Emacs like behavior, control A, control E. <clears throat> That's sort of the read line module. And you can actually use uh, Python bindings to read line to know, implement read line like things. Uh, that's not why we're talking about read line today. We're talking about read line today because this module is haunted. It does some wild things on import side effects that are sort of silent. And I want to uh, walk you through how I find out what was wrong, <clears throat> as well as my terrible hack to fix this problem. Uh, note also that the reason that this changed in PyTest is PyTest is actually working around a a bug in Python. I mean, arguably it's, a, arguably it's a bug in Python. Arguably it's a bug in readline. It's working around a problem with the debugger and PyTest and readline and some various uh, wild interactions. More cursed things about readline, but we're not going to go into that. We're going to talk about what's cursed here. Uh, so the reason that this failed is the side effect of importing the readline module uh, causes some environment variables to be set. In particular, it sets the columns and lines environment variables. However, uh, oh. however, if you look at those environment variables, <clears throat> columns, uh, it doesn't exist, and lines also doesn't exist, suspicious. Um, it actually sets these environment variables in a very sort of invisible way, which is quite annoying. <clears throat> The easiest way to see this is to uh, run a subprocess and show the environment inside that subprocess. If we do subprocess dot check call env, env is just a utility to print the environment variables. You'll see that we have these three environment variables, lc, c type, lines, and columns, because I did env dash i to clear the environment. If I now import read line and I do the same thing again, you'll notice that we now have, oh wait, Oh, it's already, wait, why Why were you set already? Hold on, hold on, something Something is going strange. Oh, right, because obviously it's gonna import read line to implement the REPL. Sorry, we have to do this in a different way. Import subprocess, subprocess.checkcall env. Let's do it this way. Yeah, read line is part of the implementation of the REPL. So obviously we need to avoid read line by using dash C. Okay, here we go. So if we just run a uh, subprocess that calls env, you'll see that we only get a single environment variable, lcc type. Uh, but the side effect of importing read line here <clears throat> causes these environment variables to be set. Now you might ask, 
Uh, how how are these set in a subprocess? But we saw up here that they were invisible to OS dot environ. And the reason for this is uh, the way that OS dot environ is implemented is a little bit um, disjoint from how the actual process environment works. The way OS dot environ works in Python <clears throat> is when the process starts up, it populates a dictionary or it's not actually a dictionary, but it's a dictionary-like object, which is os.environ. And then as you modify this dictionary, it sets and unsets environment variables um, at, at, you know, in, the, in the process itself. However, this dictionary has no idea if a random C extension sets a environment variable, assuming that, that it's setting the environment variable not via the os.environ interface. So, in this example here, the readline module is implemented as a C extension. Readline, readline.file. And in fact, if we look at this file here, it will uh, link to libreadline.so.8. And a side effect of loading this shared object is to set those environment variables. <clears throat> and of course, this thing knows nothing about Python, so it wouldn't know to do os.environ.bracket columns. It's just going to set them at the C level. And so this is invisible to OS environment, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, but it is visible in subprocesses because subprocesses will inherit the environment of the parent process. And so this gets passed along when we call mfear. Ooh, a little bit of thunder. I don't know if you heard that on the video. but um, OK, so you might ask, great, we can't see these in OS environment. We, can't, we, we probably can't remove them from OS environment. How do we work around the side effect of this module? And uh, oh, also, if you're trying to reproduce this, this, uh, this is the revision that I've checked out because I've already fixed this. Uh, the way that we can fix this is um, make a little Python file so that we can show this problem here. Because uh, running the REPL triggers uh, imported readline. Uh, actually, it might only trigger imported readline using my.files. So. Anyway, uh, before read line, we're going to do subprocess dot check call env, and then we're going to do import read line, and then print path to read line, check call env, and if we do env dash i python 3 t.py, you'll see that we get those lines and columns. So how do we make those go away? A trick that I figured out is we can't see these environment variables in os.environ, but that doesn't stop us from setting and unsetting them. So if we do os.environ columns equals os.environ lines equals the empty string, this will assign them so they get set. Well, actually, we need to do this after the readline import. We need to undo the wacky side effect of readline. Um, this will assign them, so this will set those environment variables. And then if we immediately unset them, I see this code looks nonsense, but <laughs> I guess you understand why it's nonsense. We immediately unset them, lines. Uh, now we no longer inherit the side effects of readline. And so this is kind of my hacky workaround to make this work with the most recent version of PyTest. And I uh, implemented that as a PyTest fixture to hack around this. And so uh, that fixed my weird bug. The funny thing is, uh, I mentioned this is a little bit of murder mystery and who done it. So the funny thing about this particular issue here is I was actually the one that sort of suggested this workaround. And so yeah, this is the original bug where PDB is broken in 3.13, again, due to readline wackiness and libedit and other stuff. Um, and I actually made a library where is it yeah i made a library called pytest workaround 12888 uh which what this thing does is uh, what this thing does is it imports readline during process startup to kind of work around this bug um, but obviously that's going to have the same set of problems here as well uh, and then PyTest decided to just add that same workaround to PyTest. In fact, this actually used to exist in PyTest, uh, but was taken out at some point and then added back. But anyway, here's that same workaround. And then that broke my stuff. <laughs> Again, this is 
essentially the, uh, the video explanation here. But yeah, so partially my fault, but I fortunately have seen this before, so I knew how to fix it. Anyway, this is a bit of a weird one. Hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you'd like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.